Hello Tarnished, welcome back to the playthrough of Elden Ring with Queen Delane. She is a pure faith caster. You can see the light of faith leaking out of her eyes. Or let's say shining out of her eyes. That sounds better. Let's take a look at her stats. We have <clears throat> faith at 70, that's going to be 99. Vigor and mind are where they are, and those will end up about 40 and the rest will stay at 10 where they are you can see my spells there those will change more towards the lightning later in the game the equipment or tree seal for the main casting uh, scaling cypher pata for melee god slayer seal to affect the black flame uh, spells and then this here will be the gravel slayer seal that is um, for lightning, which is going to be most mostly her go-to. Um, the clothing is just right now keeping it light, although I don't mind medium. I'm not strictly going to make her wear light roll clothing, but um, the idea is to, you know, keep her sort of regal and uh, queen-like, little crown and feminine, you know, pretty type garb, I suppose. And uh, that's the idea there. Nothing, there's nothing set for me to do, but she's not going to be wearing much of heavy armor and a helmet. Okay, and then the um, <coughs> talismans, um, these vary greatly from time to time. For instance, the, this one that raises faith, I'll quit wearing it eventually because my faith is going to be so high it can't be buffed. Um, this is short spell casting time. That's not that useful. It can be, but not right now. But it's, it's what I have. I'll probably put Godefroy in there where that uh, increases the um, the charge spells potency. And this is raising the potency of incantations. That one will probably stay permanently. All right, so we are in the Unsightly Catacombs. If you notice, Unsightly Catacombs. Down here below the perfumers, and I'm going to... My lamp going, and please uh, bear in mind. Oh, this has got all the misbegotten guys. I think there's a guy over here. Okay, so I didn't. I forgot these are full of misbegotten. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna be using a bunch of guard counters too. Hopefully more effectively than that. I was trying to get him into range before I sass him up with my cypher pata. Alright. Okay, so these guys here, I probably should use a spell on. all the way. That kind of rust away. And there's another guy there that's going to be coming around. We'll do the same thing to him. We'll do a critical on him and then um, flame him up. So there's my grave blood wart 5. That's what I need for the, the shield guys. If you remember, that is the only reason I'm taking the uh, doing this cavern is, is for the Grave Glove Wart. For, uh, I thought there was a, yeah, there's a dude over there. Um, really, nothing else I need here that I know of. And, uh, Yeah, let's. I wonder if my black flame will reach him. This will be a skill shot if I can hit him. Oh, snap.
Come back around, you sissy. Come on. He's hiding behind the thing like a scaredy cat. Well, we'll finish him off later. Okay, this has a dog up here. And we are going to just use lightning. I don't know why you wanted to slow walk up to me, brother, but that probably cost you. It looked menacing, and your menace factor was great, but uh, it made you susceptible to my uh, tossing flames at you. Alright, so this is an interesting piece here, where there's a bunch of... Um, things uh, in this pit here which you can we're going to drop down in eventually but we'll start by oh, well, I meant to do lightning but that works not sure if this is going to reach one more guy down here We're gonna, I'm going to drop back down in there in a moment, but I, first thing I want to do is go finish off this ogre up here. When I say I failed, I meant I failed to sneakily hit him while he was up there. So we gotta get up on that to get that treasure, but also to flick the lever to open the gate. We've already killed everybody here. Misbegotten winged misbegotten ashes. Oh there's a dude sleeping right there. Unblockable blade, sir, right to the gullet. Yeah, yeah, you gotta you gotta step correct around the queen. She will throat punch you. Yeah, okay, we'll go here in a second. Somewhere a heavy door is open. Well, I just haven't saw the heavy door. So this is where the ogre was. Uh, let me go through here and see. Let's see. Yeah, I got enough. I got enough to take on whatever's here. So I think I don't remember who's in here, um, but I think it is um, perf uh, perfumer Trisha maybe, and a. I think there's a big misbegotten guy in there. So, now what I want to do, I would normally use my image here, but I want to show you guys, uh, which may be my famous last words, but I want to show you guys um, Oga, and how he'll get up and move. So I'm going to put Oga in, and uh, we'll start here. Oh my gosh, you guys were shot in the face. So for Prima Trisha is really not terribly difficult uh, to take down. But notice Oga has 
pulled out his sword and shield and is doing a lot of tanking with uh, the scaly Mr. God, Mr. God Warrior. He actually didn't kill him. So that's where he um, excels over um, Latina. It's kind of grotesque. All right. Because as you know, Latina will just sit there and take, just take all sorts of damage until she dies. Whereas, um, Oga will get up and, and defend himself. So what I'm going to do that's really all I mean that's a successful mission right because we got the we got the um, grave glove wart to upgrade the, the uh, great shield guys so first of all let's see if there's I don't think there's anything to upgrade well, here I like to do my checks not really. I could have graded them, but that takes away from something else possibly. I don't know. It's not important to upgrade the shield. Greetings, are you here for spirit? I am here for spirit tuning. Alright, let's get them upgraded. Now we need grave grave glove war seven. And I'll go find where I can get get that. So, in terms of how I do my ashes, uh, my my spirit ashes, here I have multiple the multi ones. This is starts out as the wolves, um, which is interesting. It says lone wolves, and it's three of them, so they're really not lone. But anyway, the great shield soldier ashes. That's my multiple. I have multiple people I want in there. Uh, these guys completely draw aggro. They're awesome. The mimic. And um, this is a tank type thing, or maybe DPS, but it's it's going to generally be the Mimic or uh, Tish. I will use sometimes there. If I make a puppet of Dung Eater, I put him there. Dung Eater is actually a very good puppet. And then the Red May Knight Oga is the Archer. And I can't, I can't always use. Red Main Knight Oga. When I was fighting Borealis, he just kept on sniping. Um, <clears throat> sniping jellyfish, of all things, while I was being repeatedly beaten in the face by the dragon and frostbitten and finally passing away. I was not enthused with him. And I don't know what his deal is with jellyfish, but he just. He is not useful in the Borealis fight, let me tell you that. Okay. Um, there's really nothing to do there. So what I'll do is um, we'll come back over here, and I've marked where I thought Godfroy might might be. I, I mean, I know where I know how to get to his Ever Jail, but. Um, just for fun, I put where a, I put a little mark out there where I thought it would be before I have the map. I think it's fun to do that sometimes. Uh, I could be wrong though. All right. At any rate, I click a like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. And a comment, drop a comment, whatever you'd like to say. I'd like to hear from you. I, I'll answer every comment. And uh, I appreciate you watching.